trunk, yeah. I opened up, I saw my soul a good price yeah. out of sight. You might hold got talent. What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Diamond. Feel free to hit the subscribe button, also the bell to get notified every single time that I post. And if you're not new, welcome back to my channel guys. And good morning. So right now guys, it is 9.20 in the morning. Um, I am off today and I just thought I would film my day and bring you guys along. Honestly, I have no plans, no anything on the list on the agenda right now since this is still early actually i think i want to go to the thrift store well i don't think i'm going to go to the thrift store um but they don't open until 10 i believe but let me double check why isn't my phone charging but yeah i don't really have nothing on the agenda today i actually am in for a lot of dough right now because i had to come up here for something so i was like well since i'm up here i might as well just make a day out of it so that's that I'm just trying to figure out why my phone isn't charging okay not to worry we'll figure that out later let me see what time this store opens it says it's closed they open at 10 it's 9 20. um I ate some cereal so I don't want to go get breakfast because I did just eat cereal I'm like dang why did I eat cereal I could have got chick-fil-a or something and I thought I brought my cell phone charger, but maybe I didn't. I already feel like I'm all over the place, and this video is just now starting. Wow, love that for me. Okay, maybe I didn't bring my cell phone charger. Maybe I thought I brought my cell phone charger, but I didn't. I don't know. I just need to charge my phone. Okay, I'm going to come back to you guys because... Yeah, I don't have nothing to say. And I'm not doing anything right now. I'm thinking... Let me see what's in the, the Salvation Army Shopping Center. So that if there is something over there besides the thrift store. Okay, guys. I actually ended up finding a totally different thrift store. Because I really did not, like I said, wouldn't go to like a Salvation Army, um, Goodwill type of thrift store. So there's nothing against this. Sometimes I come up on Goodwills and Salvation Armies. But I don't feel like I come up that well. So I wanted to find like a... I'm not going to say actual thrift store. Because Goodwill and Salvation Army is a thrift store. But one of the thrift stores that aren't like a chain thrift store. Because I feel like the ones that aren't chain are way better and especially the ones that are bigger and i'm not talking about the mom and pop ones i'm talking about like these people have like pretty much a warehouse of just like a thrift store and it's like so many options i don't know why i just feel like the selection is way better um at those type of thrift stores than it is at salvation army and goodwill but i am going to be out here for like a hot minute so i probably will still hit up the salvation army in the goodwill but they just don't open till 10 and um, this one is already open. So I didn't want to just sit in the car for like 30 something minutes. That's dead. So I'm going to this one and it's like 13 minutes away. But I do have to hop on the highway. Dang, why is this car so loud? Like, babe, get your engine checked, please. But um, yeah, it's like 13 minutes away, which is good because I didn't want to drive super long. I'm in Fort Lauderdale and some of the thrift stores that I went to in West Palm, they're a little too far. I didn't want to drive like 30, 40 minutes for a thrift store because um, I would have to come back up to Fort Lauderdale anyway, so I'm just skipping a no. But yeah, that's all I have to say. So let's pray to God that this thrift store is good, y'all. I have not been thrifting a lot recently just because, I don't know, I just be feeling like I just have been having some good finds and good finds and i just be feeling like people are hiking up their prices and i would just sometimes rather just buy brand new if i'm gonna pay the prices that some of these thrift stores be charging so yeah so i'm super excited So I am in the first thrift store. Honestly, y'all, uh, they have some nice. Mm, I'm lying. They have some things, um, but I don't really think I'm gonna get anything because one is like super expensive, and then two, 
I'm not really in love with it, and I'm the type of person that now, just now that I've been thrifting so many times and have so many things from the thrift store, that I like to be like, if I'm not in love with it, I'm not getting it. But I'm gonna still show you guys the things I picked up because I definitely did get a cart in hopes that I would buy something. I definitely did find stuff, but it's nothing like crazy where I have to have. Um, actually, there is a Goodwill on the same shop center, like right next door, so. I will probably go to Goodwill, and if I'm still thinking about the items that I have right now, um, I'll just come back and get them. So let me show you guys that. Okay, so the first thing I saw was this dress. I'm not even really a dress person. I just thought the pattern was super cute. So, yeah, but let's see how much this is. This is, let's see, $7.99. Next thing I saw was this dress. I'm obsessed with the detail of this dress. I honestly would not even wear it but just for a photo but sometimes I that's why I love the thrift stores that I can get stuff just for a photo but this dress is like $24 yeah $24.99 but definitely a really cute dress um, but definitely just for a photo moment nothing else and then I really love the thrift store honestly for graphic tees so that's like the main thing I like to go to so I found this graphic tee nothing too crazy but I thought it was cool now that I'm looking at it up in like person and stuff, I do feel like it will fade. Um, especially the helmet, how it looks and how it feels. Once it washed, so this is gonna definitely be a no. But it's like $5.99. Like I did not want to spend $5.99 on just this shirt. Because it's not that like crazy for me to like want it that much. It's just a really cool graphic, literally that's all. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite graphic shirts that I found today so far. Um, I literally, I literally love the design. It kind of is giving me like, um, what is it called, Harley Davidson, but not really. I just love that it's black and white, and that it's in a black shirt. Um, but this one is $4.99. Not bad, but once again, a little high from what I'm used to. But love the graphic. Okay, so the next thing I found was this button-up shirt. I honestly just love the print for this, and I thought this would be a cute like beach cover-up, or even when I'm going down to the pool. Um, really love it and like what this was like a sports bra or like a bralette and some denim shorts for the summertime would definitely be a look um, but this one is $5.99 once again not bad um, I actually really do like this so I'm actually contemplating on getting this one but I do want to go to Goodwill first before I buy anything here and then this is another one of my favorites I found these Nike like corduroy um, shorts super cute and they're like tan they are $7.99. Um, typically with Nike, they are. Nike is normally like a marked up in the thrift stores, but I genuinely love these. And for the most part, they are clean. I don't even know what size they are actually. They are size small, so I feel like I probably will get these two if anything because I genuinely love these two things and I already have so many looks that I can do with both of these. So probably will get these two um honestly before i go to goodwill because i do know nike is a marked up um item and then the last thing was honestly i'm trying to show you guys this scarf um because we are getting into summer now granted i do live in miami it is always hot but i love wearing these type of scarves as tops in the summertime i don't know what it is but it's so easy it's so simple with some jeans some sweatpants anything and you really look like put together only issue is this is 5.99 and Last one I got from the thrift store was like 99 cents. So I don't think I'm getting this, but I'm really contemplating these two. Okay guys, I did just leave um, that thrift store. Honestly, that thrift store wasn't bad, like I said. I'm not even sure if you guys could hear me in the thrift store because they had like music playing and people were talking and stuff but that thrift store was not bad um their prices were a little bit higher i think at least for their graphic shirts i was expecting the graphic shirts to be like one two dollars but a lot of them were like five dollars six dollars and like 6.99 5.99 as you guys saw um but in the same shop is actually a goodwill so i'm gonna head over to goodwill first um, before I buy anything, I did not buy anything out of that. What? I did not buy anything out of that thrift store. There were two things that I liked. However, um, I just hid them. And if I'm still thinking about them, or if I don't really have a good, successful trip at Goodwill, um, then I probably would just head back and get them. I think the shorts were like $7.99, and they were Nike. And the what is it called? The um shirt was $5.99 which is also what kind of threw me off but I don't really know if I'm gonna get this shirt just because like 
that shirt is genuinely just a button-up shirt and you can get a button-up shirt from goodwill honestly so i'm gonna see what goodwill has and go from there um like i said it's 10 41 now so goodwill is open and then after goodwill i will probably head over to the salvation army um because they're open now too i typically like salvations if i had to pick between salvation army and goodwill i like salvation army better but yeah that i feel like i like it better though because when i went to odu that was the only where the thrift stores they had was salvation army and goodwill and the salvation armies were always better than the goodwill so yeah but let me just park and then i'm gonna go inside i feel like i'm gonna get an acai bowl today because i'm like craving and i haven't had one in a minute so love that okay these are the first pants i tried on y'all and i'm obsessed even how they fit I'm obsessed. So, probably gonna get these because they're cute and I love the design. Okay, guys, these are the second pair of pants I tried on and I am obsessed again. Like, look at the back. Like, so freaking cute. These are actually men pants. Fun fact I only really wear men pants or men jeans, but cute. I'm definitely getting these. The design, too. Okay guys, these are the third pair of pants I tried on and honestly, I love the pattern but I'm not obsessed with the cut as you guys can see, like, what is that? No. So, these are definitely a no but I love the print, I just wish they fit a little bit better on me but, yeah. Okay guys, so I tried on these skirts and you guys know I'm normally not a skirt or dress person but I want to try getting into skirts a little bit more. So I found this long one. I really love it. It's so cute. Like, do you guys see the detail? It fits good. So, even like this fit together would be cute with this skirt. So I think I'm gonna get this skirt because I normally don't like skirts. So the fact that I like this is a okay. Okay, this is the second skirt. It's not bad, but I think I still like the first skirt better. I think I like the print on the first skirt better because this one's more like tropical. It's giving me like Hawaii. So, yeah, but not bad. Definitely cute, but I'm not that in love with it. So, I'm probably just gonna get the first skirt. Y'all, I also forgot to show, try this on in the fitting room, but it's just this knitted vest. It's so freaking cute. Literally, my grandmother can knit this. I swear, she already knitted me a bag. But I kind of want this vest. Should I get it or should I just ask my grandma to knit it? <laughs> but like, it's so cute. It's such a vibe. I don't know. I'll think about it. And then I also found this sick jacket, y'all. Like, I'm obsessed with this jacket. It's only $8 too. Granted, I know I live in Miami. But I'm going to go somewhere coat, trust. Like, I always go somewhere cold, especially in like winter holiday time to see my family. I really want this jacket. Like, I feel like I'll be dumb not to get it. I don't know. And then I found these two bags. I found this guest bag. It's um, a little bit like beat up, as you guys can see. Let me try to focus actually on it. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it, but it's a little beat up. Like, got some stains right here. Um, I'm not sure if it's washable, that's the only thing in this side, so, yeah. But I think it's so freaking cute, and the blue is so cute. Then I also found this, but I don't know where I would wear this to. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get this, because um, this is reminding me of, like, tropical vacation. So I probably won't get this. I really want this guest bag, and... I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to wash this off. That's the thing. Okay, guys. Am I even in focus? We do not know. Okay. Okay, so I just left Goodwill. Surprisingly, it was actually a good trip. So I'm convinced that maybe the Goodwills just in my area aren't good. Y'all, it was even booming in there. Like the music they were playing was like on point. But it is currently, actually, dang, I probably was in there for like an hour. Um, it is 11.45. Um, I have to use the bathroom so bad. That's the only thing about like going thrifting is majority of these sisters do not have bathrooms. Um, actually, why did I put my sunglasses up if I'm about to drive? 
Um, and it's 96 degrees outside. I can go to the beach right now. I have to go to the bathroom first. And I'm getting hungry, so let me see what food is in the, the area because I'll give you guys a haul though, probably when I get home or maybe in another video. I don't know, but um, but I ended up getting that jacket, y'all. The jacket was too fire and it was only eight dollars. I said, okay, I'm gonna get this jacket and wherever I go cold, um, I'm gonna wear that because it's it's I have to. Like, I could not pass up that jacket. It was one of those things that if I pass it up, I think I would regret it. Um, but because I spent money in Goodwill, I'm not going to go back to the other thrift store that's in the shopping center because, honestly, I'm happy with the purchases that I got. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I got to find some food because I'm starving. Like, starving. Um, what was I trying to do? Oh, food. I'm starving and I have to use the bathroom. So, it has to be somewhere that I can go in. Uh, I don't want to. KFC, ew, no. <sighs> no. Okay. Let me see. I'm trying to decide if I should just go to the Salvation Army and then, um, what's it called? Go to the Salvation Army, go, that, go start heading that direction, and then, um, see what's in the area for me to eat. Or, I kind of want to ask, I did say I want to ask anyone. I really don't feel like going to the beach, although it is hot. I don't feel like going to the beach. And it's even sunny. The sun is it's cloudy. Like it's a really cloudy day. It's only 87. So maybe the car is at 86. Okay, I'm gonna come back to y'all once I figure out what I'm about to do because I'm starving and I have to use the bathroom. And I can't use the bathroom in any of these places. So yeah. Okay, guys, change of plans. So I went into the Salvation Army, y'all, and the line was so freaking long because the entire store, I believe, is 50% off, and the line was wrapped around the building like twice. And I was like, okay, I have to use the bathroom so bad, and there was no bathroom, and I'm starving. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just leave, get something to eat, use the bathroom, and if I still want to go to that thrift store, obviously, I'll just go back because it's not far from where I'm at. But I'm currently at McDonald's, y'all, and their sign is so freaking cute. Like, do you guys see that? It's so freaking cute. But let me go inside. Um, I'm gonna use the bathroom, place some, place an order for some food, and then yeah, because I have to pee so so bad. Um, and I had to pee since we went into the first thrift store, so that's the issue. So let me go to the bathroom. Okay guys, so I'm in the bathroom right now and I realize I never even showed you guys my fit. It's super chill because I know to be like running around today and stuff. But I have this little baby tee um, thrifted graphic tee or whatever from the thrift store. I got this actually from Goodwill. I love the little graphic on it. Let me try to zoom in for you guys. Like look at that graphic. So cute. Love it. Cute. And then I just do on my denim shorts and some converse so yeah and i also have my chloe glasses on you guys seen that in the car earlier but i'm about to place like some fries probably like fries and like a drink or something from mcdonald's so yeah oh my gosh y'all like let me tell y'all what just happened like i literally hate men like i literally hate men because well, after I use the bathroom, I'm walking to the screen to order my freaking McDonald's because obviously you guys know McDonald's now has a screen you can do it yourself. As I'm walking to the screen, I this guy's like trying to talk to me, but he's sitting down. I'm just ignoring him. I'm just like straight up ignoring him, just doing what I gotta do. He's still talking to me and I'm just not, I'm just ignoring him. I told this man, he like, oh, I'm trying to take you out. I'm trying to take you on a date, da 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 Like, I'm not trying to go on nobody, but babe, you look busted. Like, you really like, out it was just so freaking weird he was like he was like oh what you don't cheat what you don't cheat i'm like what are you talking about then i finally was like dude like i have a boyfriend please leave me alone and he's like oh you don't want to cheat on your boyfriend 
Now he's like, oh, where can I find some girls that can cheat? What what jobs do the girls work that cheat? I don't even work at McDonald's. I don't even have McDonald's on my on my logo. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm just confused. Like, just confused at this point. I'm like, sir, I don't know where you can find hoes or not even hoes. Where you can find females that cheat, but it's not me. So please leave me alone. So then. He is like, oh, I think I should make an app of, I should make an app for people who want to cheat on their significant other. I just say, I just ignore him at this point. Like, I don't have nothing to say. But guys, if y'all see a female not responding to y'all and y'all still talking, shut up. She does not want to talk to you. Like, stop talking, please. Like, I clearly was ignoring him. And it was like, the more I ignored him, the more... I like the more the guy was talking I know people be like oh just just ignore him just ignore him just ignore them they're not what's called but it seems like when you ignore them it like it eggs them on so I was just like let me shut this down real quick and just be like yeah this ain't happening but yeah like I just this is why I don't like going out like literally why I don't like going out anyway I just had to tell y'all that because I really couldn't even get no content because hold on yes i really couldn't even get any content because homeboy kept talking and i was just like i don't trust you like i don't know like it was just weird i just didn't feel comfortable like filming so i didn't really get no content in mcdonald's besides i'm pretty sure all of us have been in mcdonald's so do do we really need content in mcdonald's no i think i got like a three second clip literally but that's okay <laughs> I am about to actually eat my food. I literally drove away because I'm like, it was too many creepy men in that McDonald's. It was really weird. And I only went in, like I said, to use the bathroom. But I drove to another parking lot. I actually drove to the parking lot I was at earlier this morning. And I'm about to really just eat my food. I literally just got nuggets and fries and a Sprite. And y'all know McDonald's Sprites be hidden. If it ain't burning the back of your throat, it's not the right Sprite. And this does it their carbonation is on point so let me eat my food and yeah okay guys i am literally laying out by the pool right now um i literally left fort lauderdale um i didn't even film that because i was in so much traffic it took way longer than expected to get back to miami um but i went on a little walk because i like to like be active at least five times out of the week and now your girl is just chilling by the pool and i'm actually about to post it on instagram so go like that photo and i'm filming on my phone so if the quality looks different that is why but i'm just chilling at the pool i'm probably going to chill for like 30 minutes and then go back up and i don't know but yeah okay guys so it definitely is a new day but i told you guys i was going to give you guys a mini haul of everything that i got while i was in fort lauderdale so first things first is this skirt y'all this skirt is so freaking cute and Honestly, I'm not really a big skirt person and I said this earlier. I'm not a skirt or a dress person But I want to start to try to get into them especially getting into summer and everything like that So I thought this was super cute and it fits so well and the length is perfect I thought this would be cute with like a crop top or even a bodysuit and like running around going out to eat with friends brunch Anything like that the next thing I got which is so cute and I was actually contemplating on getting this which was the yellow um crocheted like vest because i said like my grandmother could make me this because she literally just made me a bag but honestly y'all i didn't feel like acting her and then i didn't know if it was going to fit me well because my grandmother doesn't know like my sizing and everything like that so i just was like hey let me just get this i don't even remember how much it was but yeah super cute and i have a outfit that i cannot wait to wear this with next thing i got are these cool like cool jeans i showed you guys these when i tried them on they're so freaking cool once again i always shot from the men's jeans and pants collection i don't know what it is but men's pants kisses they're so cute i love the design they fit me really really well so here's the front and they have some designs on the side and then here is the back and 
y'all the back is so cool i love having like design i love having unique and different jeans that i just don't normally see along with having like different like designs on the back and front i was really looking for jeans that had something on like the butt if i'm being honest but they didn't really have anything like that but these are definitely still cute and definitely definitely about to be putting some fire fits together with this next thing i got honestly this was I just thought this was cute and this reminded me of like people be getting the little Betty Boop shirts so I got this um, Tinkerbell shirt it says not every morning is magical um it is super big it is a size wait what size is this I can't see what size it is but it is definitely big and I'm all here for it I this can definitely be a sleep shirt but it can definitely be a like big graphic tee moment with some jeans or some cargoes or anything like that Next thing I got was these jeans too, or jeans, these are like cargoes actually. Yeah, they're cargoes. Um, once again, was not expecting to like these, but once I tried them on, they just fit so, so well. And I was like, I cannot leave these at the store. So I got these black cargoes. Here's what they look like, but they have this like studded st stuff on the pockets right here. I can obviously like cuff them at the bottom and then here's the other leg and then they have this design right here some more studded and some embroidery right here love it super simple and cute but it just fits me so well and one thing I learned so far with it thrifting is if you really really like something and it fits you well just get it because one you're not gonna see it anywhere else two it's gonna be really really hard to find it again especially if like you leave the thrift store it may not be there the next day I've done it multiple times thinking oh it's gonna still be there hasn't been there and then two um I feel like pants are such a hard thing um to like fit me well so when I find any pants that fit me well I just obviously have to get them and then the last thing I got which I know people are like girl you're crazy but I did get the jacket I'm sorry this jacket I could not like I have to zip it up I cannot like I could not leave it there I just couldn't this one this jacket was like eight dollars it was expensive in total i think i spent like forty dollars there with everything which is kind of on the higher side but still not too bad for the amount of stuff especially getting denim um but y'all do you see the design of this jacket do you see the design of this jacket do you see it like i'm going somewhere cold and i'm gonna I'm wear this i have to find somewhere to go i have to find a flight to book to go somewhere cold because this jacket the fit is going to be fire and it's thick it's heavy um i don't know this jacket was speaking to me and this is definitely one that i'm like i'll just keep i know i live in florida but i'm gonna keep it and then whenever i go somewhere cold whether that's for christmas thanksgiving because that's normally when i go back up north to see my family i'm bringing this and this will be my this will be my jacket so yeah that is all i have um for the haul i hope you guys enjoyed but yeah.